Uh, I'm currently going to Stanford for graduate school, studying music and acoustics, and uh, working part time at Sennheiser, the headphone and microphone company. Cool, man. So uh, I was looking at your website. You're um, engineering. Yeah, it- engineering and design, and uh, hopefully after Stanford acoustics. Nice. So how do you find your your way into that? Into the- uh, well, I've always loved music and uh i also have been good at math and things like that so i picked up a passion for engineering and design and they kind of came together and lucked out and got a job designing headphones and microphones a dream job so everything worked out awesome and that led me to stanford so i can't complain (laughs) yeah so education at colorado school of mines yeah my undergrad there, which was just an awesome experience as well. I got all my fundamentals there and also got, had the opportunity to wrestle, which was just a great experience. Yeah, well, I mean, it, everyone at Colorado School of Mines is in the same boat because it's purely engineering. So it's definitely a, a juggle for everyone to get, you know, all your work done and put in all these extra hours in wrestling. Um, you know, it's it's a struggle, but I think... It just makes everyone very, uh, you know, determined people afterwards because trying to get those two things done is taxing sometimes, mm-hmm. but awesome. I worked a lot with Carolyn and uh, that really advanced my my skills to be, you know, qualified to wrestle at Colorado School of Mines. And I definitely could have made, couldn't have made it anywhere. We did a lot of uh, extra practices, you know. I was obsessed with it, and since I'd only been wrestling since you know freshman year of high school, I, uh, you know, I had a lot of ground to catch up on. And well, so Carolyn you did- and wrestling prep really helped me not only develop as a wrestler, but you know, figure out what school I could wrestle at. What you know, get all the other things behind the scenes to uh, you know get admitted to a good wrestling college and things like that. So. Finding, you know, tough wrestling partners is always the biggest issue. Um, And I started out when Carolyn was first uh, beginning at Stanford, you know, doing club practices. Soon we moved, you know, driving an hour and 15 minutes to Gilroy pretty much every other day, doing morning runs and workouts and lifts. And then wrestling prep really started to develop when, uh, you know, large groups of people started benefiting from the awesome training and the, you know, the, the guidance that bringing the best wrestlers together in one location really brings to everyone. So so the community was kind of getting connected. Yeah. Yeah. It it was the very beginning, but I mean, just regularly go and work out and get, you know, beat up on the mat was just so, so, uh, influential and, I could just see myself exponentially growing every week and getting better. And, you know, I was by far not like the biggest, the best stud on the wrestling mat or anything, but it still was able to get into a great college and wrestle and do these things that I would never, ever be able to do without, you know, that strong training background. So. In high school, it's all your internal motivation to get better, you know, so some kids have it and some don't but I really developed that you know drive in high school so just you know waking up at <laughs> five thirty in the morning to run around a track with boots on was just people thought of me and uh, Patrick Sheehan were crazy that <laughs> Carolyn was there too and uh, you know it was miserable at the time but it's that kind of character building stuff that really prepares you for college wrestling where you are actually required to do that stuff. And So let me ask you, um, I was looking at your website. Other thing I love, uh, Catalina Rhyme Mixers, <laughs> uh, the coolest name. <laughs> Tell me about that a little bit. Well, uh, along with my you know music passion, I've always tried to collaborate with my friend. We used to be in a band together, and when we went to college, we had no way to to collaborate on music. So we just started doing mashups and uh, just to stay in touch. And people started really liking them. They started blowing up on the web, getting on blogs. And so pretty soon we were having just, you know, 
frats and schools contacting us to play shows there. And so we got to do some touring and playing pretty big shows around the U S uh, which was just an awesome experience, you know, like (laughs) to get that recognition on something that we just did for fun and then get to travel and do some, some fun live shows and still collaborate on music. It's an awesome experience. I would just recommend to anyone who has any interest in wrestling in college, just to just email the coaches. And even if you think you're not good enough to, uh, to, you know, get their attention, just, try and email them because there's so many added perks to college wrestling. You know, you meet an awesome group of athletes that really become, you know, your best friends. You get priority on classes. You get to continue doing, you know, taxing your body and, you know, pushing yourself to the limit. And it really helps you, you know, keep your life in order, do your homework, you know, go to practice. And it's, it's an awesome experience to really develop yourself as a person and then, get the best experience out of college.